first part of your assignment is planning your initial machine and it's important to document this process. Now on your planning document you'll notice we have these little red pieces of information on the side here. These are really important because they specifically tell you what to do in order to meet the criteria. So the first part is, uh, of the criteria is communication. You're about to draw a picture here and you need to communicate this to me nice and clearly to show your plan of how you intend to design your machine. So when you do a scientific drawing you have to follow basically I call them the KISS principle. Keep it simple stupid. In other words make a nice 2D drawing, a line drawing, no fancy shading, it's not an artwork and label your work neatly and horizontally. Now that may seem confusing but I've actually put a link here so you can see what it will actually look like. Now this is the image you're going to be presented with and it looks a little confusing. I will explain to you how to do each part of this image later on but what I need you to do for now is this. I simply need a basic picture of how you intend to set up your machine in order to move your car. And this is important because until you draw a picture it's really hard to order the equipment that you think you'll need to set up your machine. Now this picture may change before you insert it into your planning document because as you then build your machine you'll find that certain things may not work or you might need to move things around a bit. That's okay. So this initial picture is to help you get an idea in your head of the equipment you need to order. Once you've done that picture and put your group's name on it, very important, just like that, then I really want you to go back to your planning document, just one in your group, and order your equipment. And we do this by clicking this link here, complete the Google order form. This link here, click that link and it will come up with this page. Here is a picture of some of the equipment that you have available but realize this isn't the be all and end all. You can actually order other equipment or bring stuff from home in order to build your machine. But as you can see we've got quite a few things here. So all you need to do is go through this form and complete it. First add the names of your students and your group number and then tick the equipment that you think you need in all, that was in your plan and in your drawing. If there's something that's not listed there then put it under other items and click submit. 